Hey, what's up, everybody, and welcome to Nerd Gadget, formerly known as Mobile West Tech. Today, we're going to talk about the smartwatch that's packed with features and at a budget price. It's also rated IP68, and you can also receive and make phone calls on it. Now, stay tuned as we talk more about the Roman smartwatch. Now, if you end up enjoying my content, please go ahead and hit that thumbs up button as it truly helps out my channel and gets my video out there. Also, if you want to continue to receive content like this, please consider subscribing to my channel by hitting that subscribe and the notification bell button that we can always stay informed whenever I post new content on my channel. All right, so let me go ahead and cover some features really quick. All right, now you can make and receive phone calls with this watch. All right, a lot of the budget friendly smartwatches, you're not able to make or receive phone calls. You can only see that a call is coming in and you got to answer it on your phone. Whereas with this one, you can actually pick it up on the watch. You can dial out, you can answer your call right from the watch. You can receive notifications from apps such as Instagram, Snapchat, YouTube. Again, like if you hit that notification bell button and you're subscribed, you can get the notification right on this watch. All right, you can get notifications from your standard text messaging app, Facebook, Skype, and many other apps. It's rated IP68 water resistant. It has a heart rate monitor. Also monitor your blood oxygen. And it also has a sleep monitor on there as well. There are also 20 different sport modes on here. So 20 different sports modes that's included with this smartwatch. You can also customize the watch face on this, all right? So not just the ones that they give you. A lot of the budget-friendly smartwatches, they may come with five different watch faces that's on board already, and you can switch out in between those five. Whereas with this one, you can actually use a photo of yourself and make it your watch face. So that's pretty cool. All that's gonna be done right from the app. So again, those are just some quick highlights. Again, this watch is heavily packed with features and for a nice decent price. With that stated, let's go ahead and there's no need to look at the box. Not a lot going on there. Just the name of the company. And with that stated, let's go ahead and get this bad boy open. Slide this out here. All right, and you're presented with a manual that's in Chinese. I'm assuming it has English as it states there. All right, one through 14 is English. All right, so you do have that. And it just tells you how to charge it. All right, and to power it on. It's nice to have that as well. Got your charge cable. All right, type A to this magnetic charge end right here for the watch. And then last but not least, you have the smart watch and even an extra set of bands. So pretty cool. All right. Get all this cleaned up, get this powered on. Let's jump right to it. All right, let's go ahead and peel this off. Start from here. All right, get rid of this. I also forgot to mention that the screen size is 1.7 and it's also touch. All right, so you touch the screen to make things happen. All right, got the one button here. Got your sensors there for like your heart rate monitor and blood oxygen monitor. Um, and of course, sleeping as well. Microphone and speaker. 
getting out of focus there, but yeah, pretty cool. And I also like that these are quick release watch straps, all right? So just slide here, peel it off, same thing here. So it looks like you're able to even purchase other watch bands because it looks like a standard size there. So you're not just tied to both of these watch bands or watch straps, all right? Now this also comes in two other colors. You can get this in pink and you also can get it in gray. Now let's see if this has power. I'm not sure if it does. If not, I'll have to charge it for a bit and then come back. Let's give it a test. Hold that down, see what happens. All right, so it is powering on, that's awesome. And here we have it, it's ready to go. Nice colorful screen too, nice and bright. All right, now if you look on the back, if you look on the back of here, the Happy Cat Fit app, go ahead and scan this with the QR code to download this on your iOS or Android device so it can get set up. I'm gonna do the same right now and I'll be right back. All right, as you can see there, iOS or Android, Happy Cat Fit. Get that installed. And just like that, it's ready to go. Go ahead and accept all of this. Go through these different screens. Tap join. You can read this agreement, user agreement here. Go ahead and tap accept. And then you can log in with your Google or if you have an email instead that you would like to do instead of a Gmail log in with that email or do registration free login i'm going to go ahead and do the registration free login tap there you can read this it talks about stop optimizing the battery for this app let's go ahead and do so and i just tap the x there let's go ahead and tap next and you can put your name I'll just type that. Okay, get rid of the keyboard or tap done. Tap next. Of course, I'm a male. Um, I'm just gonna put some random. You don't need my actual birthday. I know it, it wants your birthday for health reasons, but you can go ahead and put your birth date in there uh, if you want to. Then go through all these different screens. Um, I won't waste time in this video with this. It wants your height, probably gonna want your weight, all that good stuff. So go through these screens um, and then you should be good to go. Let me go ahead and get mine set up and I'll be right back. And if you don't want it in centimeters, you can go ahead and tap here and then you have inches. And just ask you how do you wear your watch all right left hand or right hand tap done now once you get to the screen you just tap qr code and then scan that qr code now once you're on this screen this is the watch that we're working with which is the h1 you can go here to scan the qr code which is on the watch screen, all right? So you would go here, slide down, this third icon here, which is settings, you would tap here, and then tap QR code, and then scan it. Okay, so afterwards, you will go ahead and just go ahead and check off the check mark on the watch. Once it's binded or connected, then you come back to the app and should ask you for permissions for the location so just go ahead and grant that and then tap allow here. All right, so we got permissions 
and it should be locations. You want to go ahead and just accept that. And go back. Let's just do it this way here. All right, so there you have it. It's all set up. Let's take a look at the watch. All right, so you got your different options down here. Um, sleep monitoring, you can control music. Open this back up. Uh, looks like weather, calories, phone. Let me see, let me tap phone. Do you get this? The dial pad, you get the dial pad, so that tells you right there, you can dial right on out. All right. Uh, of course here, for your uh, blood pressure monitoring, slide over here. Let's go ahead and tap this. You can look at your step count, calories, and then miles that you have uh, traveled. All right, and let's go back over here again. What is this? Oh, it's the dial pad again. Um, okay, if you want to exit out of there, just go ahead and press the home button. Now uh, let's see, slide over here. All right, so pretty cool. Of course, there's no record because I haven't been monitoring my sleep with this. And let's see what happens here. You can add different uh, widgets or add more activity to your screen if you like, or monitoring to your screen if you like. Come back here. Swipe up. No messages, but again, you can get your messaging or your message notifications there. And let's see, how do you change the watch face? So it must be in settings. You can go over here. From the top and go to settings here. Oh, look at that. You even have a flashlight. Um, but let's go here. You can turn off or on vibration and you can make a software strong. All right, let's go back. Check your battery, raise to wake, screen time on, brightness, and here we go, watch faces. So by the thought, you have this one. You can choose this if you wanted to. All right, uh, let's go back to settings. You have that watch face, you have this watch face, you have this watch face as well. Now in the app, you have different options too. All right. Let's see here in the dial center. You can choose one of those if you like. Many, many options. All right. Uh, let's see. Get a little closer so you can see it. So it looks like a few more watch faces there that you can get installed. Uh, let's see. Go to the very end. Okay, that's it. And if you wanted to download one of these, you just tap on it and then tap sync dial. So after you tap this arrow and you scroll down, if you tap on custom dial and you scroll up, all right, you see where it says background picture? You're able to upload your own picture and use it as a watch face, or you could take a picture you know, you could take a live picture, maybe a quick selfie, and then use it as your watch face. So, so many options for this budget. It's it's unbelievable. All right. And of course, you can restore the defaults to the way it was at the beginning when you first set it up. You can choose the way you want it to look. Hit save. And you can see it's a different color there. And again, you can go ahead and hit sync. All right. And come back. You have these options here which is called simple so so many different options for the watch faces which makes this watch pretty pretty cool um let's see go to exercise all right it has your records all right talks about 
your percentage for the battery. All right, I have this plan here, but I paused it. So I went ahead and added this music um, widget to the screen from this screen here. All right, so swipe back. And if I want to play it again, I can play, I can skip. So I'm back here, slide over here. If I want to skip, you can see that happen just easy. So I do wanna show this really quick. If you double press this button here, you have your options. If you tap on voice, you can activate Bixby, Siri, or Google Assistant by tapping on voice. All right, let's see how this looks on my wrist. All right. Looks nice and decent. I'm digging it, it's comfortable. Has a nice weight to it. Feels like nice quality. All right, so after double pressing this button here, you see you have the different options as I mentioned before, but if you go to workouts, you have all your different sport activities. All right, so. I can go on and on regarding the features of this watch. Go back again. Um, but yeah, um, I showed you just about everything I can think of right now. Alarm clock, timer, you got a stopwatch. You know, it, it definitely has a lot of features. All right, so after double pressing this button here, see you have the different options as I mentioned before but if you go to workouts you have all your different sport activities all right so I can go on and on regarding the features of this watch go back again um, but yeah um, I showed you just about everything I can think of right now Alarm clock, timer, you got a stopwatch. You know, it, it definitely has a lot of features. All right, so that's pretty much, that pretty much covers all of the details that I wanted to cover for the smartwatch. Now, if you're interested in this watch, of course, I'll have a link posted in the description section of this video. And this completes my review and unboxing for the Roman smartwatch.